Hello, Heather Schaff here. I'm sitting in the parking lot where I have my, my Monday donuts. I actually bought a few too many this time. I bought three instead because sometimes I just like variety, but I'm saving this and another half donut for my boys. So keep me accountable on that. All right, guys. I love donuts. I love Mondays and it's just, I thank the Lord for those times when I can just have some silence and solitude and you know, there's a lot of that these days around our house with two of our kids going off to college already, but I'll get to that later. Um, so I just wanted to put out another vlog. Um, believe me guys, this is out of my comfort zone. I don't feel the need to stick my neck out there. I do that enough with my singing and especially my drama videos. Um, but I do like to connect with my audience and I think that's helpful to get to know the people that write the music that you listen to. So here I am again. Um, something that's been on my mind, I hope even to work on it a little bit today. Um, I'm really praying through and working through uh, the potential of a big marketing push next year. And marketing, that word kind of, I don't know, the connotations that may come to your mind when you think of marketing. And I don't want it to be a get rich quick scheme. I don't think that's possible in our, our, our niche market, <laughs> Christian, conservative Christian music. But, um, I do, um, desire to see those who have been blessed by the forever be sure music ministry to support it. And in supporting it, that would give us the funds to, um, make better music, maybe make more music, maybe help me be more focused. Believe me, I love the business side of things. Um, I'm finding how, how much I enjoy being an entrepreneur. But there are things, believe it or not, can you imagine, there are things I do not know. <laughs> like, I really don't know. And I do not know what I'm doing when it comes to marketing. Now, I love marketing material. I, I can put a vlog out. I You know, I'm making videos and all that. But I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to um, harnessing the World Wide Web. I don't know what I'm doing. And so actually for the last five, six, seven years, I've kind of just stopped. I mean, I put Facebook stuff out there. I have an email list. So I do that kind of stuff. And I know that that's, you know, the, a lot of times the bulk of it, but I just feel like there's so much more that can be done. And I know this to be true because I did have a conference call last week and I'm having another one on Wednesday with a marketer. And so all that to say, would you pray with us? Would you pray with us? Um, I'm, I've, been praying about a marketing, you know, how to market, but I'm praying more specifically and more passionately because I feel like this uh, could be the next step, you know, not, you know, giant step, but it's the next step. We need to, you know, always want to be progressing. And honestly, I want, I have a huge heart to get the music that I write into more people's hands because I believe with all my heart, it is blessing. It is, it is being a blessing to people. And case in point, just in the past 10 days, I received three extremely encouraging emails or I think they were all emails. Sometimes they're YouTube comments, but I just have to read you some of these. These, I can't tell you how encouraging these are. Here's the first one. Thank you for the ministry of your music. Love it. Love it. Love it. All caps. I have wondered for years where all the good stuff went and I found it in forever be sure. I have been hearing Heather's voice on BBN and Moody radio for a few years when I first heard this is the will of God, I was so moved I pulled off the road to listen. With a little research, I found you. That song was my favorite until I heard Driven to Our Knees. I haven't wept over a song before, but it was, is, a knockout. Beautiful, meaningful, God-honoring, encouraging, even convicting. Real ministry to my soul through your efforts. I have been spreading the word at church and to countless friends. Indeed, you have a great gift that God is using. I can't thank you enough. May God richly bless you and your work super humbled to hear those really rich comments and it just makes my heart want our music to reach more people uh, another one thank you so much for your help they printed perfectly i had she's responding to an email that i had sent she needed help uh, with her music also thank you for your music my family and i are going through a spiritual attack and yesterday i pulled up your music to encourage myself it was just what my soul needed. I encouraged myself in the Lord, just as David did through Christ honoring music, your music. I can't tell you what a blessing it is for us to sing together as a family these beautiful songs of perseverance and faith. The Lord Jesus used you today to lift up the head of the weary in the battle. Thank you. Wow. 
I've had days where I've felt spiritually attacked. And yes, sometimes I do put on music and I know God can use just that uh, to, to help people. And honestly, that is, that is my heart. My biggest focus in this ministry is to just really strengthen and stabilize believers. Uh, they need to be in God's word. And so I know that um, our passion is to put God's word into music. And so it's a tool. It's a tool God is using. Another email, the last one I wanted to read, um, he, his title was Keep Running the Race. I wanted to thank you for your continued steadfast by exercising the gifts that God has given you. Your songs are a blessing and encouragement more than you will ever know. I heard a song you published on the radio about a year ago and assumed by now that I had listened to every song on YouTube, but today heard Shaper of the Dust and just in perfect timing as I lost my best friend and grandmother. My prayer for you and the staff would be that God continues to use you in marvelous and wonderful ways. Two things from that paragraph. That was a blessing. But two things. We don't have a staff, people. <laughs> we have me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, I, I, I cannot leave out. I have. I, I do have a team. For sure, I have a team. I have a video guy. We outsource our work to him. I have an orchestrator. Um, he's amazing. I, I outsource, uh, outsource my work to him. I have recording engineers. I can't leave out my father who helps regularly with um, helping, you know, accounting, finances kind of thing, sending out checks and stuff like that. My husband does the taxes, which I'm so appreciative. Otherwise, I would have no hair because it would I would pull it all out. I don't get that stuff. But everything else, and of course, the ladies that sing on our, our teams, ladies and a few men as well. Uh, you know, so I have a team, but I don't have a staff. So, lest you think we have a staff. <laughs> Let me correct that. Um, but I, but I love what I what I love what I do. I love to be able to create, and I love the business side of it too. So, all that to say, I I need to grow. I need to grow the people in my life and and my staff, including a marketer. Um, and then another thing that that interested me about this last uh, comment was that he thought he had seen everything that we have, and yet you know then he said he pulled up shaper of the dust. Now, mind you, I just got this email about 10 days ago. We released shaper of the dust years ago. And it's like, I scratch my head and I wonder, what am I doing wrong? Why, why don't people know about the hundred songs I've written? Again, back to my marketing point. Would you please pray for us? We need help. Um, interestingly, I loved the title of his, his uh, email, keep running the race. And isn't that true? Sometimes you know, we, we know in our hearts because God has assured us of the truth and he's shown his light and love in our hearts. <laughs> so we know we're on the right path, but we need, we need encouragement to take another step. I know my dad, he's been a great counselor for me through the years. Many, many have, but one of his key phrases is Heather, keep plodding along, keep plodding along. And wouldn't you know it? My dad is listening. I'm writing a song. Actually, I finished writing a song called keep plodding along, plodding you know, it's a catchy one. It's a catchy, it's a fun one. I cannot wait to record and sing this and, and let you hear it. But I need help. I need encouragement to keep plodding along. Um, okay, just a few matters of family family update, life update. Um, our house is very quiet. You know, let my heart be quiet. My heart has been more capable of being quiet. Um, these past few weeks, two weeks, I think, a little over two weeks, we dropped our oldest two off at college and it is just the weirdest mix of emotions, guys. I know if you're a mom and you're out there and you've done this before, you've been down this path and you know what it's like. It is the weirdest mix of emotions because it's like a piece of your heart has just left your home and, well, two pieces of my heart, boom, left the home. Um, so there, there's a very sad thing. In fact, if I think too long about it, I will cry. So I'm not going to think too long about it. But I have to say that the mix of emotions is weird too because here we are on this side with only two left at home and I'm, I'm actually finding great joy in this new stage of life too because um, I have more space in my life, my home, my brain to enjoy my, my youngest two who are very enjoyable. Um, they're fun. We have a lot. We've already had some good times, some great times. Uh, but once uh, I, I've been very busy, uh, once my kiddos left, we, we have a let's see, one, two, three. We have a four bedroom house, and um, so one we, we're keeping the guest room, the guest room, which is my son's room, but my daughter's room, which is upstairs. Uh, we we thought it right to have our boys be able to have their own rooms now that now that two of the kiddos are gone. So I dove into redecorating my, my boys rooms. That was super fun. I, I really do enjoy color guys. I love art. And that's part of the reason why I love the business side of 
Forever Be Sure. I love the mar- I love what I do in marketing for Forever Be Sure and all of that. Um, but so, so I don't get a lot of opportunity to, you know, explore the arts and, and decorating and, and stuff. So I decorated my boys' rooms. Um, super fun. Um, so yeah, but I, 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 I find it interesting. <laughs> I think sometimes your body speaks to you and it, you know, it speaks to you like, okay, uh, don't eat that food because it'll make you feel sick. And it's not like your brain actually says those words to you, but your body says, Mm-mm, don't do it. <laughs> um, and so my body back when I had four young children in the home, I just kept saying this phrase, like 80% of my brain is gone. 80% is gone. Like with my kids, if there's kids in my life, if my kids are in my life, I have to take care of them. I have to provide for them and all that clean the home and all that 80% is just gone. So like, I felt like I had very little capacity. (laughs) Still do think I have little capacity, but I will say this past few weeks I have retained, I have gained back about 40% of my brain. And I'm realizing, you know, why, why the number 40, why the number 80 when I said 80% was gone. I'm realizing that 20% of my brain went to each kid, okay? And that left a meager 10% for me and 10% for my husband. (laughs) That doesn't mean I didn't think about myself a lot. It means just that the time that I gave to myself, which, you know, self-care or whatever was just, well, it was small. And so I'm I'm rejoicing in just a little bit more mental space. Um, Super excited about FBS projects and all of that and just a little bit more freedom to... um, pursue some of that, you know, redecorating. I'm I'm purging my house every six months. Uh, My house is, believe me guys, I know this. If you know me, you know this. My house is kind of immaculate and I'm not really (laughs) exaggerating. It's just true. I grow up, I grew up in a home like that. I love order. I love order. I love cleanliness. Um, but I, so in order to help me mentally about every six months, I go through every drawer, every box, almost, and I purge things that I don't need. If I haven't used it in a year or two or three, I'm just like, I don't need it. I want it out. So actually, I don't know if you can see in the back of my, I have three trash bags, three more trash bags and, and another piece of little, little furniture or whatever. (laughs) I don't like stuff. I like, I like it. If I use it, if it's there for beauty and decorating, great, fine if it's used for a purpose and all that, but if it's not being used and it's junky and it's old, it's out. Less stuff, happy life. That, that is a coined phrase from my daughter. She had a life change way back when. And I'm like, you are right, sister, less stuff, happy life. And so, um, okay, where was I? I have all these notes in front of me. I do try to have some substance when I have these and I know we're almost at the 13 minute mark and I'm trying not to make these too long. However, um, if you enjoy getting to know me, why I'm not really sure, but I'm not going to be restrained by time. This year has been the theme. I think this year has been travel. Now I already travel a lot. I'm, I'm traveling a little over five weeks and then tack on about a week and a half of video making trips um, or, or times. Um, so lots of travel, lots of fun things to be, um, looking forward to and and planning toward. But this year is kind of cray cray, kind of cray cray in the area of travel. Um, back in February, we went to a conference at Faith Baptist Bible College, the refresh, refresh conference. That was my husband and I and our ministry assistant and his wife at our church. Then I had the March tour. Then I had the May tour. Oh, in between the March tour and the May tour, we went on a May cruise to New England. That was that was my dad's idea. It was super fun. We went uh, out of Boston, went up to Maine and to New England states, back to Maine and back to Boston. Great memories. My parents just celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary. Um, what a blessing um, for them. And they wanted to do it on a cruise. So who am I to say no? It was fun. Super fun. Okay. So then May tour, May cruise, then May tour. Then I had a June recording filming trip that was in Watertown and we are releasing videos, um, from that time. We just released at the side of crimson red. We did that in June. After that, we had a family reunion in Iowa. That was about a, you know, five day thing. Like a week and a half later, we went to family camp, another trip. And then uh, the beginning of August was my two-week tour. I've never, to my knowledge, been gone from my home, out of my home for two straight weeks. And so that was a unique thing. But it, I'm, I'm thankful the Lord sustained me and it went well. But that was two weeks, two weeks of a two-week trip. In about a little under a month, I go to 
California with uh, three other gals for our October tour, 10 concert tour. And then, oh my goodness, then um, November, Thanksgiving, my, my dad, we've done trips, uh, we've done, we've gone to Branson. This I think will be our fourth time. We love it. We drive for a day. We're there for a day as a, as a family. We go to Silver Dollar City and then we go to, uh, we see a sight and sound um, production the next day or whatever and then we drive back the next day in fact this year we're driving back on Thanksgiving day so um God has just really really been very kind uh in order to, ha to allow us to do all these things anyway then the whopper the cherry on top of the cake <laughs> was something we heard about way back in January February I can't remember which but um long story short I won't belabor this we're going to Israel whoa what in December, I'm like, well, well, fancy that. I don't have anything on the calendar for the beginning of December. So shoot, why don't we just go to the, go to Israel? It's a pastor's familiarization tour trip and you get a significant discount, even though it's still significantly expensive, but God is, God is, is providing, has provided. And I'm like, what a year, what a year to go. We're going to go with my, my husband's brother, who is also a pastor and his wife. So we're, we're great friends. So it's the four of us. And then I think maybe 10 others in the group. Um, anyway, I've never been and my husband's never been. None of us have ever been. So this will be a first timer. I'm super excited. I don't really know what to expect. Um, but I'm excited, but it's another trip, trip on the plan. Anyway. All right. Enough about travel. Uh, progress is being made on a new CD. I just this last week uploaded the artwork. Super excited because believe me, that is a very tedious process. I uploaded the um, artwork and I am. we are so close that I can say I'm predicting an October 15th release date. Don't tell anybody. Okay, I just told the world on YouTube. <laughs> I don't like giving release dates because, oh boy, so many things can go wrong. Um, but we're so close that I, th I think I can probably safely say that it's likely we'll release it on October 15th maybe sooner. Who knows? We'll let you know. And, um, yeah, so we're my, my task today and this week and things that are on my mind is just kind of wrapping my mind around our end of the year fundraiser, which we hope to launch at the beginning of November. And, and we'll need your help. We will need your help. We are, I've already begun to pray. I've been praying this year. I've just been in routine prayer that the Lord would continue to fuel our ministry and, uh, fuel our efforts. And, um, so I'm excited how, how the Lord will, bring people across our path, people that I've been praying, Lord, if there are people that have been blessed by this ministry, put it on their heart to give and support. And so God did that last week. All of a sudden we just get this thousand dollar donation out of the blue. Never met this guy. This is, this is what God does. This is what God does. And it's exciting to see. Okay. Lastly, since it's almost 18 minutes longer than any other vlog I've done, life hack. I like to give a life hack. So this isn't really a hack. I think I'm late in the game on this, but guys, do you have one of these for kitchen rags? Oh my word. I'm, I'm a believer. <laughs> I love these things. All of my other rags, which I thought I loved for years, um, were great, but man, I have just recently, well, what happened is, uh, one of my friends in church, my, my sweet friend sewed me. I don't know. This isn't sewing. This is crocheting, right? See, that's how much I know. She gave me two of these. In fact, this is the one she gave me. And then I saw this one on my last tour. So I have about four to my name and I love these things. I'm, I need to, I need to scour the internet to find more or just find more friends who know how to, how to, how to weave these things. Not weave. <laughs> I'm showing my ignorance. Anyway, I have, su I have sufficiently um, given you enough information on this video. It's almost 19 minutes long. And again, this donut's been staring me in the face for way too long. I might take another bite. We'll see. Anyway, great to chat. I've been listening to myself for 19 minutes. So have you. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you later.